Hey guys, so we're back again with another reading and this one is all about how do they see you? So how do they view you right now in your life, whatever you have going on, what is their opinion of it? And also how do they reflect on the past times you guys had together, the relationship you had, what is their opinion of that and how do they feel about it? We are gonna tune into all of it and I am gonna be doing an extended version of this over on my Patreon and we're gonna go a lot deeper over there. So if you wanna, if you want to join that, you can head to the link underneath the timestamps in the description or in the comments and it will be posted over there. Like I said, we're gonna get really deep. So if you finish this reading and you still want some additional clarity or you want to finish this out, then head on over to that link for my Patreon. Today we have a beautiful selection of desserts for you guys to choose from. We have some beautiful Murano glass candies as well well as some little candle tarts for you to choose from and I am going to put the numbers up on the screen so you can see for sure which one is which but if one is already calling your name and drawing your energy into it definitely you can feel free to skip ahead to that point if it's your first pick a card reading you want to go towards the one your energy is feeling called to and drawn to so go with your first instinct don't overthink it don't get in your head about it just go with the one that just immediately seems to grab your attention and that will be the pile with the message for you, I do wanna remind you guys again that I do have my Patreon up as well. And when you join for this reading or any reading, you will get access to all my additional readings. We have over 30 over there about love, career, spirituality, relocation, so many different topics, over 30 to choose from. So definitely check that out if you wanna join our little party over there. The link is in my description and underneath the timestamps in the comments, for that, I would absolutely love to have you and we're always taking reading suggestions and stuff over there and doing votes and all kinds of fun things. So like I said, check it out if you wanna join us over there. And if you would like a private session with me, I am currently doing those over at my website, briarrosetarot.com, and you can sign up for either a half hour or a full hour session. So if you guys want to get personalized guidance and for me to tune into your energy specifically and give you guidance or clarity about a certain issue, or just channel your guides and see what messages they have for you and keeping it open-ended, we can kind of make the reading however you like. So if you want to sign up for that, you can head to my website, briarrosetarot.com, and purchase a session. There's lots of different options to choose from. So I think that's all I have to say, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you guys need more time to decide, you can totally feel free to rewind, pause, and take as much time as you need. But we are going to go ahead and jump into pile one. Hey pile one, welcome to your reading. If you guys picked this Murano glass candy, this is going to be your reading. Let's get into the cards. I'm gonna do a live shuffle this time. I'm just feeling called to do it this way. Spirit, can you give us guidance? How does that one person see them now? So we got boss up, multiple streams. Okay, so they might be seeing you guys do really well in touch with your body. I feel like they were very attracted to your body. Maybe that's why that's coming up. They still think you look really good. Um, I feel I am getting a vibe of like intimidation, I guess, coming through. I do feel like they are definitely noticing everything you guys have going on. If you are a success or maybe you're not a success, but they feel like you are. Let's get some tarot cards as well to start out to start it off six of cups okay so they're probably reminiscing quite a lot about you ten of cups oh my gosh ten of pentacles yeah so they definitely are thinking back on you and i feel like in a way for them it has felt like a big loss i feel like with that ten of cups reverse they might have imagined something being very long term with you they might have imagined that you guys were supposed to end up together and they haven't felt this satisfaction if they seem to be living their best life like maybe they even have a spouse or a part long-term partner that they might live with or something they they are not happy and they might be trying to put out that vibe that they are and I almost feel like you guys have taken the opposite route where maybe you have seemed more independent maybe you have seemed like you are working on your life your career and you're very focused on that and that this person seems like they're comparing themselves to you you know like they are looking at their life and kind of seeing it not measure up in the same way and thinking that you wouldn't be impressed because it feels like whatever you guys are doing there's this perception of wealth there's this perception that you're doing well financially maybe you are literally a boss or you have multiple streams of income or you're a business owner 
but I do feel like that you guys seem on point. You might be someone who works out a lot or just looks very physically good. Like I feel like some of you guys, you look fantastic. Like you've, you know, however much time has elapsed since you've seen them, you are looking super on point, like beautiful, beautiful. Um, you're looking really good. Like maybe even if like a couple years have passed and sometimes, you know, people change over the years, like you look not only as good, but even better. And I feel like this person is kind of like, wow, like they're doing really good. And honestly, there's a big sense of sadness coming through. There's a big sense of loss about it. It's not like they're like, whoa, this person is doing so good. I feel like they are comparing their own life and their own lack of fulfillment. It's almost like they went after something they thought would fulfill fulfill them or they thought, well, you know what, I'm going to date this person and it's going to make me feel better. I'm going to partner up with this person and I'm going to, you know, completely move on and I don't care anymore, but it hasn't worked. And I feel like they are definitely in that process of kind of, they do spend a lot of time thinking about you with that six of cups, page of swords. So they may have a desire to reach out to you. They're still very attracted to you. Um, yeah, I mean, the attraction, the physical, straight up physical attraction is coming through really strongly. Um, and I do feel like with the page of swords, it's almost like this person also, they might have made their decision about this relationship or about whatever you guys have going on in a very logical way. Like they might have just thought it through and not really paid attention to the power of love, to the power of that energy and the kind of ineffable, indefinable, um, thing that is the energy of love, you know, and I think sometimes people think they can out reason it, you know, people will say things like, well, just date someone else or just take your mind off it. But you know, when love is really deep, it can be a lot more powerful and inescapable than that. And it's almost like this person was using their logical mind to sort out this relationship, like instead of trusting the feelings and being like, wow, I feel the power of this. They were kind of like, you know what, I feel the power of this. And I'm just going to do this instead. I'm not going to give into this. They were trying to kind of out think the situation. So they might have thought by getting in another relationship or just by ignoring you and just kind of seeming to move on that everything was going to be fine and it was going to turn out okay. And I feel like you guys took the opposite route. Like you weren't trying to move on or make it clear or send a message. You were just like, I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm going to do some self work. I'm going to do some inner work. And I feel like it's really worked. I feel like you guys are almost on a different level than them now. And I hate to say that, but that's how they're viewing it. Like, I feel like they just look back and they're like, Oh my God. Like I, I, I thought this was going to be the opposite. I thought I was going to have a glow up. They were going to be doing bad, but instead it's you doing really good pile one and them kind of struggling a little bit. Like they might look like they're doing well on the outside, some of them, but I actually feel like on the inside, there's this really strong feeling of loneliness, feeling of not being understood, feeling that like they're very alone, even if they're in a relationship with their partner. It just feels like, this person spends a lot of time comparing whatever they're, whatever is going on in their life with what was going on with you. So if they do have a partner, they compare that partner to you. I feel all the time. It's almost like you're this third party in the relationship and you don't even know it. You probably wouldn't want to be, wouldn't choose to be. But I feel like it's like you're this ever present thing where like maybe their partner like pours them some coffee in their milk and they think like, uh, well, pile one poured coffee like this way and they would have done a much better job. Like I feel like just all the time, you know, their thought is on you, their, their, their memory is on you and they do spend a lot of time replaying. It feels like with you, you either, this is your energy or you brought it out in them a kind of youthful, happy, vibe like maybe that's your energy yourself or it made them feel very youthful like i'm getting like first love or something like that um so maybe you made them feel like that feeling of first love or maybe this was your or their first love but i feel like it made them feel very light and airy like it was easy between you guys that's what i'm hearing it was easy it just flowed like you guys just the conversation flowed the the vibes were just really good and it just seemed to fall into place in a very magical divine way and i feel like with this other person it's almost like lately at least or maybe it's always been that way but it, it never had that magic it never had that flow it never had that just like oh it might be easy in other ways it might be that their partner makes certain things easy and that's why they're not leaving it but i feel that 
compared to the magical feeling, the magical flow between you guys, it just doesn't compare with this other person. And I do feel like they spent a lot of time just definitely reminiscing and kind of replaying and contrasting. And they're very like tit for tat, I feel, um, this person. Like I feel like they definitely are someone who like notices things. I'm almost getting like Virgo energy, you know, where it can be kind of critical. It could be Virgo Venus as well. But like, you know how Virgo will pay attention to like all the little details and be like, okay, that needs to change here. That needs to change there. That's why Venus is debilitated there because it's not the best energy for love. Nothing against Virgos. You know, we love Virgos and they have a beautiful presence. There's such great, um, communicators and they're so great at so many things i have a lot of virgos in my life that i'm close to so i'm not hating but i'm just saying you know sometimes it can fall into an energy a low vibrational virgo of being a little too critical and i'm almost getting that that's maybe something this person has as a habit and if they ever did that with you just know that they're definitely doing that times 10 with this partner and they're definitely aware it's almost like this person was trying to deny themselves for a long time and put on rose colored glasses and pretend that everything was good but now they can't, like those rose colored glasses, I feel like they, the rose colored glasses like fell off and broke down and cracked like a long time ago. And they might have tried to like keep them in or hold them back up, but like it just wasn't working, you know? And sooner or later they had to take them down and just acknowledge this situation and acknowledge how much they do miss you, which I feel like for a really long time they weren't even willing to acknowledge themselves. They didn't even want to admit it or tell anyone. Definitely wouldn't want to tell you. Definitely wouldn't want to communicate this with you, although with that Page of Swords they might genuinely want to reach out and like miss talking to you. I feel like you guys are really great conversationalists. You're really funny. Um, you have a lot of like funny things to say. Um, let me see what else we can get for how they perceive pile one. How are they seeing pile one as? How are they seeing pile one as, spirit? How are they seeing pile one as? Oh, we got the lovers. Dang, that's why I love doing a live shuffle so you can see that come out. See, I didn't sneak it in there. Okay, we got the lovers, the moon reversed and the knight of swords so the energy as far as the major arcana is gemini as well as pisces and you could also throw some cancer in there as well just because the moon rules cancer but technically it is pisces um so maybe some of you guys are gemini's pisces or cancer but it could be any sign as well um but i do feel like how they perceive you is first of all you guys have a very dreamy romantic quality to you there's something innately romantic about you like i don't even feel like you guys are the type that would even necessarily need to watch a mushy romantic movie although you might love those as well and of course those are great you know fun to watch no matter who you are once in a while everyone loves them but I feel like you guys are just romantic by nature like you could take the tiniest thing and probably the way you view the world is like in a romantic way like you know you might be the kind of person that always has to like take a photo of the sunset or if someone tells you like a story about like a missing dog you're like oh my gosh what if he like you you spin some story into it and you really care and you like I feel like you just view life in this kind of magical romantic way if that makes sense i'm thinking about like romanticism more of like the movement back in like the 1800s early 1900s um not so much not so much like actually being super romantic as in like feeding each other strawberries in front of a fire maybe you're into that too but i feel like you guys just have probably a prominent venus and the way you do everything is very lovely um putting extra care into it like you might be that person that just you know takes the extra time to like foam your milk for your coffee in the morning i don't know why coffee keeps coming up maybe some of you guys are like really into coffee or something but i just feel like you guys really take the extra time to like make everything special and i almost feel like this might have been something that your partner kind of almost laughed at when you were together or kind of rolled their eyes at or kind of thought like oh this is that's why are you doing this but I feel like now they really miss that and they compare the way you are the beautiful lovely way you have of moving through this world there's a very genteel quality to you guys like I feel like you have a gentle energy as well I know genteel and gentle are two different words but I really do mean both I feel like you have a lot of grace, you have a lot of decorum, and there's also a gentleness around you. Like you are someone who 
is not, and this might have even been an issue. It's almost like this person might have wanted you to fight more for them because I almost feel like this other person that they're with or whatever they're going on in their life, they really wanted to have you like prove how much you cared about them, prove your feelings for them. And they might have even caused chaos or done things to kind of try to bring that out, to kind of try to see how much you care about them. And I do feel like now they can realize that that gentle, soft, quiet, loving quality of yours is so special and so irreplaceable and that maybe they should have reacted a little bit differently. Maybe they shouldn't have dismissed it or taken it for granted, but they should have really appreciated it. With the moon reversed, yeah, they might have even said like, oh, this person, you know, they're kind of kooky or they're, yeah, they're like, it might have even been something where you're into psychics or they might have even said that you're not perceiving things reliably because the moon can... Be, especially being reversed like that can talk about like misperception or not seeing things accurately you know because the moon is a little bit of a not trickster energy definitely not but it's but it can obscure things like all water kind of can obscure and so I feel like for you guys um maybe there was an energy of them feeling like you weren't accurately perceiving things or you weren't super logical and they're super logical. Maybe they are the page of swords, knight of swords and their opinion of themselves is like, I'm, I have all this logic and I'm, I'm very intelligent and this person isn't that way and they're too head in the clouds or maybe even you being into tarot or psychics or something like that. They might have kind of thought that was kind of cringe or like, this doesn't make sense. Something like that might have come up in your relationship. And I feel like now they kind of respect the way you see magic everywhere, the way that you are open to the spirituality. Because I feel like over time, they have had to be honest with themselves about the spirituality that was in your relationship, the innate connection you have with this lover's energy. The fact that you guys are not just, it's not just about like, mm, this person ticks a bunch of boxes and I guess they'd be a good partner. That's not a good way to decide. It needs to have that magic, that spark, that ineffable, indefinable, just kind of magic, nebulous, special something that only spirit can provide they're finally being open to that and and admitting that there is this other element in the world that's not just about logic and facts and reason it's about spirit and magic and joy and i feel like you guys always knew that and they have had to realize that over time so i hope that makes sense and on that same tip with that page and knight of swords i know we were talking about you being very romantic and having a venus energy towards everything and also i feel like with those cards you're also very mentally kind of enthusiastic and curious and just someone who has a bubbly, bright, fun personality and kind of makes magic out of everything. And I feel like you are the kind of person who would like no trivia or who would um, always have like something to say in conversation. I mentioned that earlier, you would make a great conversationalist. And I feel like, you know, you, you're you probably always like learning something new and then telling your partner like, oh my God, by the way, did you know that ducks, um, you know, they mate for life and then they have this, they make a nest, blah, blah, blah. Like, obviously I'm just making stuff up, but I feel like you are that kind of person that would always have some new fact or something new and interesting to share. And honestly, I feel like it created this very magical vibe. Like, I feel like this person looks back and really reminisces on the beautiful, fun energy you brought to their life. And they do miss having that. It feels like you are kind of out there living your best life. You've taken that same energy and enthusiasm you had before and you've directed it towards yourself. You've directed it inwards. Maybe Maybe before you were always coming to them with like you know some fun info or you would or they kind of took you for granted I almost feel like at the time they kind of might have almost rolled their eyes when it came to you or been like well whatever and I feel like now they truly are missing you they truly miss this kind of mercurial Venus energy that I feel like is prominent in your chart you might have a prominent mercury or you might have prominent Venus probably both I feel like you guys definitely have this enthusiasm this infectiousness this constant search for something new and again this person is really attracted to you as well we're not going to get too into that over here we will talk about it over on patreon so if you want to see the extended version of this reading then you can head to that link underneath the timestamps and in the comments as well but with that king of wands they do find you very attractive i feel like they still have a lot of attraction for you and there's also this jealousy i'm getting where they are trying to figure out maybe some of you guys are openly dating someone or you keep your love life on the dl and this person's just very curious and wants to know and they're like what is going on like 
I feel like they are, they definitely think a lot of thoughts about you being with someone else and it kind of drives them crazy. So maybe you're openly out in a relationship or if you're not, uh, maybe they're just convinced because they are bringing up a, a third party. So it seems to me like a lot of you guys either are in a relationship and they're not happy about it or they're convinced you are. And it really is upsetting them to be honest. Like they're coming through with a lot of jealousy. Let me um, get some song cards for pile one. What are the songs that sum up the vibe they feel towards pile one right now? I was a fool. Oh my God. Exactly. Tegan and Sarah. There is a lot of, I feel like it's just taken a lot of time for this person to realize the depth of your connection. Like I feel like before they were kind of running from it and they were kind of pretending like it didn't matter. And Awful Things is really a song about like to me, I mean, obviously there's a lot of things in the song, but you know, it's about this really deep connection that you kind of can't run away from. And I feel like it has kind of this fatalistic soulmate quality, kind of like we're stuck with each other, you know, or like even if there's flaws or we've been through some stuff, like I, um, you're still the one that I'm kind of obsessed with. It's kind of the vibe I'm thinking of from that song and from the music video and everything. Um, so I feel like, yeah, it's almost like this person, whereas before maybe they were kind of petty and they would point to things in the relationship that they were unhappy with, that it was like, well, this person yawned slightly loudly or something. And like, I can't, you know, I can't be around that. Like, and now they're like, oh my God, how did I ever think I was going to be able to replace the love and the joy I feel from this person and the deep connection that we have that's like so, so intense and so much deeper than anything I've ever felt with anyone else. And maybe they found someone who doesn't yawn so loudly, but none of that emotion is there. Spirit, can you give us another song for pile one? all night beyonce she's so lovely beach house oh so yeah i think obviously they do think you're very lovely like i was saying there's something very genteel about you kitchen witch ariel pink that's interesting i feel like you guys like i was saying you know with that moon reverse there is a strong pisces vibe and a strong kind of metaphysical or psychic vibe i don't know if this was a theme in some of your guys's relationship maybe this person was like not into anything metaphysical at all maybe they rolled their eyes maybe they're like an atheist or something like that and they were like oh god are you reading your horoscope again or like oh you're talking about tarot like oh my god why do you watch those stupid videos or, <laughs> or something like that i don't know but i feel like this person was almost like skeptical and you were the one who was very open to this realm and now over time maybe they find themselves being like what, what was the name of those videos they were watching it was called pick pick a card i think maybe let me try looking those up like i feel like over time they've started like in their interactions with you something they might have rolled their eyes at in the past and been like dismissive of the more pain they're in i know that sounds bad but like the more pain they're in now the more they're like maybe they were right about soulmates and twin flames and maybe this maybe this is real and maybe some of these people can give me clarity and guidance and maybe maybe i should look those up and all night i mean that's like the ultimate love song to me the videos just like a bunch of couples in love and there's such a love energy exuding from the song from the video so i feel like yeah like this is very deep emotion to me when all night comes up um and you know they just played a lyric in my mind found the truth we why can't I talk? Found the truth within your lies, but true love never has to hide. Take your broken wings in mine, I think. Um, I've seen your scars and kissed your cries. So I didn't know I knew that, like all those lyrics by heart, but I do listen to that song a lot. So I guess I memorized it. But yeah, so I feel like that song is about really making up with someone after a lot of BS has happened, um, to say the least, because we know what she wrote it about. But anyway, um, I feel like this person is kind of acknowledging their own their own flaws and also maybe that they would nitpick your flaws and act like something that was a small deal was a big deal and, and allow it to blow up in their head. And they didn't take you and they didn't value you, you as much as they should have. They kind of took you for granted in that way. And I do feel like this person is acknowledging, you know what, as much as I was judgmental of them, I'm the one with flaws. I'm the one who effed up. I'm the one who messed up. And you know what, they're actually, as much as maybe they did things that in the past or at the time I thought like they weren't so serious. Now I'm aware of their power. Now I'm aware of what they're bringing to the table and this incredibleness that they have to them. 
We got Infinite Arms, Band of Horses. There's a lot of really deep love songs. These are not just like, no, oh, I kind of like this person's song. This is like intense, uh, deep feeling, I feel. Like really deep feeling. Honey and I, Haim, and Vulnerable Selena Gomez. So, and then these were falling out. I don't know if you guys saw, but I'll just throw them into Bleed to Love Her, Lindsay Buckingham, and Our Swords, Band of Horses. That's interesting. I love how with our swords and then came out and then there's a bunch of sword energy here but anyway um i do feel like yeah this person definitely has an energy where like i feel like you guys must be in separation with plead to love her coming out and i was a fool and all these songs like i feel like this person is just really replaying the memories really reminiscing about you right now that can happen especially as we're going into eclipse season especially if it's like an eclipse in someone's like the romantic section of their um chart like if it's aspecting their venus or if it is um hanging out in like their seventh house or it aspects a planet that they have in the seventh house um mars as well but i do feel like this person or moon um i do feel like this person definitely is spending a lot of time reminiscing about everything you guys had and about the loss that they're feeling right now so this person might even have you know a venus scorpio or a mars scorpio or some strong scorpio placements since this eclipse is going to be in the early degrees of scorpio i believe it's two degrees scorpio um and so it, it could also be in um it, it could also be in taurus so if they have a taurus venus scorpio venus taurus mars scorpio mars um, or moon in those placements it could, you could definitely be feeling their energy because i feel like they've been reminiscing a lot and if they are having an eclipse over their venus or they're having a full moon over their venus or anything like that um they definitely could be finally really reminiscing because it almost feels like they're finally seeing things clearly like i feel like they're just the scales are falling off their eyes as it says in the bible like that parable where i think jesus comes and heals a guy who has scales on his eyes and the scales fall off and he can see clearly for the first time i feel like that's what's happening like finally this person is being willing to be honest with themselves whereas it feels like for so long they were in runner energy and what i love is vulnerable by selena gomez came out and that song is all about i'll stay vulnerable that's literally like the chorus um is i'll stay vulnerable and you know talking about kind of pain or whatever but like at the end of the day i choose vulnerability i choose to be open and i feel like you guys made that choice whereas i feel like this person was kind of running and was kind of like i'm just gonna i don't care i'm not bothered i'm dating someone else i don't it doesn't bother me i'm living my best life and it was a lie they were running they were faking they weren't being vulnerable or honest with themselves or you and on the other token you guys have stayed super vulnerable super open and i'm literally looking at this poem as i say this that says it's so funny that says ever open to joy and love and that's literally what you guys are that's so so funny that that's yeah i just feel like you guys are super you have like i feel like this energy of the boss babe multiple streams um but the vibe is almost like not just not that you're like closed off boss babe but that you are someone who has just refused to like let it knock you out you refuse to let it take you down instead you were like i'm just gonna keep growing i'm gonna keep trying i'm gonna keep pushing i'm gonna live my best life and that takes vulnerability like that takes putting yourself at risk or being you know in the in the kind of arena you know like it takes it takes risking being rejected and i feel like this person was so deep into you they didn't want to be rejected and honestly i feel like now they're they're realizing the loss so this is really an interesting energy i wish i could see like the collected like a chart composite of <laughs> pile one's uh placements of the, their exes and their placements and see how many people do have like some scorpio venus or uh taurus venus or uh the eclipse is hitting that venus squaring it or something like that i am super super curious but anyway you guys um i'm gonna be following this up over on my patreon and extending it and doing a lot more we i feel like we just scratched the surface to be honest so i'm really excited i love 
this because it's uh, there's like a lot of complexity and emotion here so it's my favorite kind of love reading to do so we're gonna get a lot deeper over on patreon pull some messages pull some way more oracle cards because i was just channeling so much we barely pulled cards but yeah if you want to join us over on patreon head to the link underneath the timestamps in the description and in the comments as well we're gonna be going deep into it doing some astrodice too we didn't even do that um, but yeah, there's a lot more to cover for you guys. And if you guys liked this reading, please let me know. Also, let me know your astrology because I'm really curious about this pile <laughs> or the, their, your person's astrology. Like seriously, I need to know how many, how much Scorpio is involved in this, how much this eclipse is hitting people, how much Taurus. Let me know, you guys. Um, let me know your thoughts, how it resonated. And also make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Give this reading a like if it did resonate with you. And make sure to subscribe as well so you can see as soon as I post I would absolutely love to have you here and turn on notifications if you want to get notified when I post um, and yeah if you guys want a private reading with me as well you can also head to my website and also when you sign up for my patreon to get access to this reading of course you'll get access to all other readings that I've ever filmed over there so over 30 ones about love life career spirituality every kind of topic over there so many so definitely check that out you guys i'm sending you lots of love and i hope to see you over there um but i will see you guys soon take care bye hey pile too so if you guys picked this cute little strawberry candle tart this is going to be your reading it's so adorable we are going to be doing a live shuffle today guys i was just feeling that vibe so let's see what the cards have to say spirit what can you tell us about pile two's person and how they see them every step counts the best of you okay and this one says rehabilitation i almost feel like i'm hearing the vibe of like hotline bling or something like you know i i just heard that line started go started wearing less and going out more i almost feel like this person feels a little abandoned by you and i'm not saying all of you guys are like going out on the town every night at all but i almost feel like there's a little bit of anger coming through a little bit of a feeling of being left behind which is appropriate with that every step counts card maybe it's almost like for a while you guys were willing to take care of them with that rehabilitation card and look after them and just kind of give yourself to them and now you're like nope i'm moving on i'm looking after me i'm doing myself i'm focusing on me because it just feels like this person is a little bit like resentful not okay with it um definitely feeling a little bit negative about this let's see what other tarot cards we can get so can you give us guidance for pile two how does pile two's person see them right now yep eight of swords reversed so i almost feel like this person it feels like it was almost an unfair balance of power. Like I feel like you were doing a lot for them and I don't know how much they reciprocated. I don't know how much they gave you back. And I feel like, yep, we got the hanged man. They've had a change in how they perceive it. Like at the time they might have taken you for granted or they might have taken the relationship for granted and just thought it was always gonna be there, that you were always gonna kind of be around them. But I feel like now they're starting to admit that it's like they could have been more compromising as well with that emperor card they could have been a lot more understanding of you and prioritizing you and i almost feel like they kind of made themselves the priority they kind of were looking after themselves in their own interests and it didn't even really occur to them to think about your side of things and to think about what you needed and i feel like now you guys are on the process of thinking about yourself and you and there is a little bit of a fear of being left behind there is a little bit of a resentment of like oh okay so they're on something new now and they don't even have time for me like i said i'm hearing hotline blank by drake which is like that ultimate song about a guy being afraid that a girl is glowing up and leaving him behind you know um he he says yeah started going out and wearing started wearing less and going out more and glasses of champagne out on the dance floor um hanging with some girls I never seen before. So I feel like for you guys, it's like maybe you have a new friend group or maybe you just seem to be leveling up in many ways. But I do feel like this person is kind of like, wait a minute, this wasn't a part of the deal. Like they weren't supposed to level up to this extent. They weren't supposed to just be living their best life. They were supposed to be the ones missing me, sat at home for me. Like 
I was supposed to be the one living my best life and just kind of not caring about them. And I feel like it almost took a while for this person to reach that perspective because maybe for a while they were kind of trying to play it cool or trying to act like they didn't really care or hoping that if they did act that way, that that would come off and that would become the vibe, you know, like if they acted like they didn't care, then magically they would stop caring. And I feel like it definitely, to say the least, has not happened that way for them. Um, and there's a lot of this kind of, like paying attention to everything you've been up to, looking at your social media, keeping track of you, maybe trying to find out information through your friends or your friend group, like trying to find out information in some way, in any way, even if that was like searching up your LinkedIn. I definitely feel like this person is not happy about whatever this new thing is in your life, this new fresh start. And I also feel like they're saying they were a bit of that fool as well. Um, that card is resonating as that, like maybe they are saying that they truly must up um spirit can you tell me a little bit about their thoughts at the time of the relationship like what were they thinking at the time because i almost feel like this person just took it for granted and wasn't oh that almost came out earlier but then i put it back because it hadn't like fully flown out so that's interesting they might really want to reach out also you know the page of swords you know, sometimes it can be someone who has a little bit of like fear of commitment. It can be someone who is um, a little bit kind of not wanting to like lock things down and still wanting to be footloose and fancy free. And I feel like for you, maybe that was their energy. Like maybe they were in the energy where they were thinking that, you know, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship and like, I don't really care that much. And maybe they were a little bit standoffish to you or didn't really fully seem even that into you. You might have thought like, are they into me? Do they like me like that? I don't know. I'm confused. Like I can't get a read on this person. And I feel like it, it, you were confused because this person was confused as well. I feel like they had interest in you. They would be attracted to you, but then they would kind of fight that for whatever reason. Maybe they were afraid of being a simp or maybe they were afraid of a relationship in general but it feels like they never gave you whatever you deserved from them like your due is what I'm hearing they never gave you your due as in they never gave you like the full credit you deserved or the full respect on your name kind of vibe you know like they never might they might not have ever asked you to be their girlfriend or they might not have ever asked you to get engaged or to go on a date or whatever I just feel like in a way they were kind of unsure and have a lot of issues on their own when it comes to like relationships like not even when it comes to just you but in general I feel like they might have commitment issues towards everyone towards anyone or they might have like feelings of lack of self-worth or something like that they might just even believe some narrative that like, oh, I'm too young and I have to sow my wild oats or like, I'm not ready for marriage or I'll never get married again or something like that. Or like, well, my ex-girlfriend ruined my life, so I'm never going to trust anyone again. I just feel like a lot of that came into play and they didn't really treat you as well as they could have. They might have also seen like parental figures in their life is what I'm hearing who like, also were immature or I'm hearing arrested development. So maybe people that didn't want to grow up or like they had a parent who had like a bunch of girlfriends or they had a par parents who got divorced or were fighting all the time. I feel like in a way this person has a lot of deep seated almost trauma when it comes to relationships. And with you, I think they were kind of it's like they were very into you, but it's almost like they were trying to bide their time. I'm literally seeing someone pedal around in one of those pedal boats, which is so funny. And I feel like that is my sign from spirit of someone just kind of, what is the phrase? Running their wheels or something, spinning their wheels, where they're not really going anywhere. They're not really doing anything. They might have even led you on a little bit so that you were like, okay, I think they're going to ask me out really soon. Okay, I think we're going to be exclusive soon. And it never happened. And it was just them kind of almost doing it on purpose like wasting your time because I don't feel like they were doing it to be mean I feel like they just didn't want to let go of you but they kind of knew that you demand you were going to demand more so then they kind of withheld it held it out withheld it 
Um, and I can see where it would be very confusing to be in this dynamic. I think this person was highly confused as well. Um, and I feel like at a certain point, you guys have kind of moved on and started cutting them off a little. We did get the Empress card. So I do feel like there's a level of you guys being like, I am done with this and I'm working on myself and I'm working on my life, my best life. I'm putting the work in and I'm not going to sit around waiting or thinking, um, and I feel like you gave the best of yourself to them. You know, this card is sticking out to me, the best of you. I feel like that was you. And I don't feel like this person reciprocated in the same way. It feels like they they kind of took a little bit more in the relationship, whereas you were giving, giving, giving. Um, and I feel like at a certain point you were like, I'm, you know what, I'm going to take this power back. And I feel like only then it was through your silence or through you blocking them or through you just not communicating or interacting with them that they have realized your absence and how much that it makes a difference in their life and how much they are missing you. Um, but it took a level like that. It's almost like you might have tried to reason with them or tried to bring up discussions. And this person just wouldn't listen or they never really believed you when you said like, I'm leaving. Or even they might have avoided those discussions. Like they might have intuitively sensed when you were like gonna bring up something and have the like, what are we conversation? Or when you were going to, you know, ask them their intentions or something, they might have sensed it and like sabotage things or, you know, been like, oh, I can't hang out tonight. I feel like this person definitely kind of, it's almost like they kind of thought they were getting one over on you at the time. They kind of thought that like, well, I'm just going to get away with this and we're going to do things my way with this Empress car Emperor card. We're going to do things the way I want to do them. And I feel like you guys just got done with it. I think you guys have really glowed up. You're doing amazingly. Um, and you're, yeah, I feel like you're just really radiant right now, focused on yourself, pouring your energy into yourself. And it's really beautiful. And I think this person can see the glow up. They can see that you're looking good, that you're feeling good, that everyone around you is noticing it as well. So I want to get some song cards as well for you guys and figure out the song vibes for Pile 2. What was the song that sums up their opinion towards... Pile two, how they see pile two right now. Sunflower. And what did I say? You are glowing. You have all this light to you. And then we got sunflower. That song reminds me of that so much, like someone's light. Um, and he says, you're that sunflower. So to me, I always associate sunflowers with like light, the sun, obviously. Death by a thousand cuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person's upset. Wish you were on it. Oh my God, yes. Okay, so this person definitely, like I feel like it's like they want you back, but they have this really strong sense of pride. They have this really strong sense of like, I'm not gonna be the one to say, I'm not gonna be the one to be vulnerable. They have to be vulnerable with me. They have to be the one to come to me. Um, so I feel like they would probably do almost like shady things to kind of get your attention. I could definitely see this pile um, doing that thing where like they might like all your Instagram posts but never actually like message you or like slide into your DMs and like like your stories or comment on your story with just like a heart emoji or something but never actually like ask you out or never actually start a conversation. Um, I feel like a big part of this is them um, and their own inner kind of desire to seem cool that I feel like pervades a lot of their life. This fact that they are constantly almost self-monitoring, trying to see if they look good, trying to think about how are other people going to perceive this. Again, maybe they have people in their life that would call them a simp if they seemed overly concerned with a girl or a guy or people that would make fun of them and be like, oh my God, get over this. Um, but I do feel like this person fantasizes about running back into you or you reaching out to them. I think they would really love it if you were to message them. But I also don't know, to be honest, if this person has changed their behavior. Because I do feel like in a way, um, they're always going to kind of be this way. There's always going to be a side to them that kind of, how do I say, um, like self-monitoring that inner voice, that inner feeling of like, is this really uncool that I'm in love with this person? And, you know, I think, I think what it is, is they have a fear of being dependent on you. I feel like they're afraid that if they do really fall in love with someone head over heels, that they 
you know, that they'll get their heart broken, that they'll be in a lot of pain and that they'll also kind of look like a clown. So I think that that's something that they still haven't fully worked through and something that is still going to be an issue in this relationship if you guys do get together. Um, I feel like they miss you, but I don't know if they've done the work to actually process like, okay, so what am I going to do about that? Let me try to become a little less, I don't want to say they're toxic um, because that's kind of harsh for them, but I feel like they are in pain and they could probably think through how to solve it, but they don't really want to acknowledge that part of them. They don't really want to dive that deep and do the shadow work and confront whatever caused this fear. Maybe it was like parents, maybe it was another relationship, but it feels like they just have a lot of fears regarding relationships and specifically the power balance in relationships. They might have some idea that like, all women are heartbreakers or all men are toxic or you know whatever i feel like they just they have to work through some of this on their own so they can be like open and vulnerable to you in the relationship because right now even if you did reach out to them and you guys did talk i feel like you guys would fall back into this dynamic of them kind of being a little bit of a runner and then you having to chase after them and then i feel like you're getting to the point where you're like i have way too much dignity to do this like i could have a million other people i don't need to chase you and so whatever used to fly in this part of partially this has changed a lot because you are glowing up you've been working on yourself you've been doing that shadow work and it shows and people can tell and you're looking like the best version of yourself and so this person is very like not sure how to even approach you at this point I feel like in the past I wouldn't be surprised if this person kind of like negged you or would make like approach you but in the guise of like an insult or be or be hitting on you but kind of like in a joking way so that if someone like overheard and were like oh were you hitting on pile two they could like plausibly deny it did not yeah, deny it. I was thinking of plausible deniability, which is, I think, a legal term, but basically means you can, like, there's a chance that you could deny it and people would be like, well, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess that's, a, eh, I guess that makes sense. It, it adds up. Um, and so I feel like, you know, they might have hit on you, but in a way of like, what? I was just talking to her. She's my coworker. I was asking her about, the new project we had to no, this there's not I wasn't flirting or you know like reaching out to you under the guise of like hey are you going to Rachel's party I don't know whether to bring uh, some beer or something you know like I feel like they would a lot of times approach you and hit on you but act like I'm not romantic no I'm not we're just friends and I feel like that was really confusing to you because you guys could feel the energy you could feel the vibe you could feel their intentions and their interest in you but you never really got it confirmed so there might have always been a part of you that was almost like am I going crazy am I hallucinating like I keep thinking that this guy's into me he never asked me out or vice versa I keep thinking this girl's into me but then like when I make a move she's always cutting me off but to me, there's an energy here where the move was never fully made. And if it was, it was like bungled or it was kind of done half-heartedly. And for you, I feel like you're very much still like, what did that even happen? Was I perceiving that accurately? And honestly, that can be a little traumatic because it makes you question yourself. It makes you question your intuition makes you question whether you're crazy and I just want to confirm that you guys definitely aren't a lot of this is like I feel like this person doesn't usually like someone as much as they like to you um I think there's someone that really has to like vibe with the person respect them think that they're smart funny hot like they have a long checklist and I feel like you ticked it off but at the time you weren't aware of your full self-worth and that's actually I think another thing on this person's che checklist and this is why I almost said toxic is like I feel like they do much better with a partner when that partner doesn't know their worth you know like it's kind of like I'm seeing something like you know how sometimes online you'll see like a business listing and maybe it's just a crazy low price for what you get and you're like what how is that like or sometimes you know a news story will come out and it's like a glitch where like the manager forgot to put an extra zero so they sold like big screen TVs that are worth a thousand dollars for like a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? I almost feel like, and you know, there's people that like look out for that. There's people who like coupon who will not buy groceries for full price, you know? 
And they're always like, well, I know this grocery costs this, but I know I could buy it for this. And I almost feel like that's the vibe with this person is like they are looking out for someone that is selling their groceries at half price. And I didn't mean groceries and like a double entendre, but, <laughs> but it is a love reading. But I mean, um, I do feel like I do feel like they they want to find someone who doesn't fully know the full cost of whatever not i mean cost is weird but you know the, their own worth they are looking to find someone that they can like kind of bargain with and and kind of give them half price like when you go to you know in certain places like where you're supposed to haggle and you don't pay full price and that's like expected so you go in you argue with the person you kind of say like well i only have this amount of money and they'll say oh i can't tell, sell it to you for that what about this and then you say hmm, maybe well what if, what about this and i feel like that's kind of what they were trying to do with you you know it was like they were trying to kind of haggle you down and maybe they even did it on purpose to kind of make you doubt yourself a little bit to make you think okay i'm losing my mind because they're so into me but they never kissed me or they're so into me but then they're really mean to me or i don't hear from them or um and i feel like a lot of that was deliberate it's kind of like the same thing where like there's people who are really good hagglers who will walk into like a market stall selling something and they will immediately walk out and then be like T i'm not paying that that's cr nope nope i'm leaving and they know the person's gonna chase after them like they they have their certain way of negotiating and they're and you know the thing about that is a lot of times in a market stall if they offer a crazy low price the person won't run after them because the person's like no i know it's worth this and they're not looking to buy from that person they're looking to buy from the person who's going to chase after them and be like okay i'll give it to you for half price you know what i mean so i hope my metaphor is making sense but i just feel like this person was a lot more comfortable with you when you were doubting yourself when you were unsure of yourself and now that you guys are glowing up and in your power a lot more i think that partially they're kind of not sure what to do with you <laughs> they're kind of they're kind of a little bit flummoxed by you but i do feel like they are hurting like it's, it's funny because they might be able to act to others like they're too cool for school and like they don't really care and they're over it but you can see with all these sad songs um like death by a thousand cuts that um and to me with pang coming up that song is like pang into you paying into me and i feel like in a way what's coming up with that is like first of all a little bit of a pang in their heart like pang is in a pain you know and then also it's like you guys actually got a lot, lot deeper than this person had ever intended or was comfortable with um because that song to me is very much about intimacy and it's like you know two people kind of exchanging souls or being like super connected in the heart chakra and i feel like this person is just definitely not ready for that but it does seem like you guys really opened up to each other and i feel like that's just not what this person was looking for though let me see if any other songs come out and then i'm going to do a little bit more tarot wait for me hall and oats okay so this person does want you to wait for them hypnotize fleetwood mac and always be my baby wow <laughs> silver springs a lot of fleetwood mac that's interesting because i feel like what's the fleetwood mac song i just lost it Hyp hypnotized but i feel like with silver springs that's a really sad song and um you could and the lyric is you could have been you could be my silver spring blue green colors flashing um I just feel like this person in a way, you know, they were afraid to fully open up to you. Like, I feel like they think about you a lot because you were one of the only people that really understood them, but they still have this fear of being completely vulnerable in front of you. Like, it's kind of like, okay, this person hasn't run away yet, but I know they will. If they could fully see me, if they could fully see everything I have going on and they could fully see into my heart they would run just like everyone else has they have a lot of trauma with that and i think that's why they keep thinking about you all the time i definitely think you're very much on their mind they hope that you're going to wait for them that you're always going to be there for them to come back to eventually once they've maybe done some shadow work but i don't know if that if you are because i feel like you guys are working on yourself quite a lot let's get some more tarot yep they are definitely pretty heartbroken three of swords eight of wands okay so they also feel like whatever they're doing 
they know it's not really working <laughs> like i feel that wow they're definitely reminiscing on this a lot but yeah if they are like liking your instagram or whatever you know like i was saying doing that annoying thing where maybe they will like dm you like a message about your story but never actually ask you out whatever they're doing to you it's like i feel like you guys are getting annoyed with it and i can see someone rolling their eyes and being like Ugh, another ugh. or like whatever they're doing whatever the level they know it's not working and i feel like it does stress them out but then i also feel like they don't want to come on super strong again they have this fear of coming off as like a sim or coming off as overbearing so i feel like they prevent themselves from really reaching out on that level and they definitely pull themselves back in and if they would be like okay you should just tell her how you feel like they'd be like oh heck no i don't know if that this person is capable of that because i feel like there's so much vulnerability for them with that there's so much that they would have to overcome come with their own traumas and their own issues but I do feel like they have that instinct and they're kind of getting frustrated feeling like okay it's, what I'm doing is not working so I gotta do something else I don't know what it is but this is not working they're aware that if you are annoyed with them in this moment and you are feeling like ugh, like they don't even mean it or whenever they message you or if they aren't messaging you that you're annoyed with that they are aware of your annoyance I feel like they're kind of in an energy of tearing their hair out trying to figure out what to do next so yeah i definitely feel like this person's not quite done with you yet they still have a lot of energy and it feels fairly fresh it feels like there's a lot of emotion here still um that feels really potent so if you guys didn't just break up it, it it's like i don't know their feelings are still very very fresh so anyway, guys, I'm going to be continuing this reading over on my Patreon. If you want to get more details, we're going to go into a lot more detail over there. Get some channeled messages from them. Also do some Zodiac readings and a bunch of more cards because we just did two decks today. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into a lot more detail over there. If you guys want to join us, the link for that is going to be underneath the timestamps in the description and in the comments. So I would love to have you join us over there. And of course, when you do sign up, you'll get access to over 30 additional readings from love to career to relocation spirituality so many different topics and new readings go up all the time so definitely check that out you guys i'd love to have you over there on patreon and thank you guys for watching i hope it resonated let me know in the comments if it did i love hearing from you guys let me know your thoughts and make sure to give this reading a thumbs up hit the like button if it did resonate with you and make sure to subscribe i would absolutely love to have you guys here and if you want to find out as soon as i post make sure you have notifications on so you can get that notice that i posted and watch it when it's still fresh out of the oven and finally if you guys want a private session with me i am currently doing private readings at my website briarrosetarot.com so you can get a 30 minute or a full hour session with me if that's something you guys would like if you need some guidance clarity channeling then i'm at your disposal at that website so head on over to briarrosetarot.com and you can choose from all the different options thank you guys so much for watching i am sending you lots of love and light and i will see you very soon in another reading or over on patreon right now so anyway i'll see you guys then take care bye Hey Pile 3, if you guys picked this beautiful Murano glass candy, this is going to be your reading. So today we are going to be doing a live shuffle. How does Pile 3's person see Pile 3 spirit? How does Pile 3's person see Pile 3? The first thing I'm getting, hope on the horizon. That makes a lot of sense for the vibe I'm picking up on, which is like a lot of sweetness coming through. I feel like this person sees you as being very sweet, you know? Um, I feel like they still have a lot of affection for you. See how this girl is like sleeping and she's got this little teddy bear. It's kind of a cute little scene. Like that makes sense. And there's a little fairy for the vibe I'm picking up on. In touch with your body. I feel like this person really has such a fine place in their heart for you still. Like it doesn't feel like there's a lot of resentment or anger coming through. So I'm not sure what went down or why you guys like while you're watching this video. So maybe like, obviously you're not in contact, but it feels like they still really like you. They still have a lot of interest in you. They still respect you. They still have a very fond place in their heart for you. Spirit, can you please come into these cards and tell us guidance for pile two about how they are seen by their, whoever their other person is. I feel like they still really 
kind of cherish you or see you as very precious. We got the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. The Lovers. As I'm saying that, we get the Lovers. Okay. The Hierophant reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Okay. How do they see Pile? Three. And the Five of Swords reversed. Okay, interesting. So I almost feel like something that's coming through is maybe them blaming others for you guys not being together. Like I feel like they would say that it's not something that you did. Like they don't blame you, but they might blame someone around you or have anger for people around you. I feel like they see you as quite vulnerable and quite sweet. And as someone who's just kind of like a little bit of an angel, you know? So I think even though I am getting a little bit of like anger that you're not together, it's not directed towards you. It might be directed towards someone who's around you, someone who is in your immediate vicinity, someone who's close to you that they may feel has gotten in your ear and convinced you not to be with them and I do feel like this person's in a little bit of despair feeling a little bit upset with that it's almost like I was so close we almost made this happen it was almost about to go through and I do feel like this person honestly they really like I said cherish you we got the lover's card that's a very deep deep level of emotion towards you um it's not like they're just like oh yeah they're hot and you know although that is the case we also have the ace of wands we can't talk too much about that but we will talk about it on the patreon extended we got to keep it pg for youtube but so they are attracted but they're definitely also it's like much deeper than that like i feel like they are very very drawn to you and i feel like in a way for some of you guys maybe this relationship never reached the level of like getting to the point of like really difficult discussions because it almost feels like you guys are still in the honeymoon phase like it still feels like this person just you know like is curious about you and laughs about you and like very like happy like I'm seeing like butterflies on a Sunday on a summer day like floating around in a meadow you know like that's the vibe it's not like this scorpionic like deep intense like I love them and there's so much passion but there's like this drama like it just feels early honeymoon stage of the relationship it feels like they still are like I said curious wonder about you like maybe they never got that confirmation of exactly how you feel about them and they definitely don't blame you I just want to make that clear because it almost feels like they're blaming someone else um and so if you've gotten the vibe that like they're mad about you at someone they really about something they really want you to know that they're not mad at you they feel like you are this sweetheart who's working on yourself who's improving yourself and kind of like I feel like if anything they might be mad at themselves as well or they might be coming through to just say like I wish I'd handled things differently um but I feel like they still are very hopeful. So it's not like they're coming through with a bitter energy or really sad, really depressed, honestly. Um, they don't feel super depressed. They feel like very hopeful, like, okay, uh, I'm going to get another shot. We're going to have a chance at this. It doesn't feel like things are done and dusted and there was a huge breakup that was really bitter and really unpleasant and they think that you're never going to talk to them again. It feels like they still are kind of planning and still thinking, okay, how do I get back in this person's life? How do, what am I going to do? Um, I feel like it's almost like I just heard my best friend. So I don't know if you guys had that vibe or there was a friend vibe or there was just, you guys like had the same interests, but I'm almost seeing people laugh and giggle with each other and just like confide in each other. Like, I feel like no one else maybe has the same jokes that you guys have or get along on the same level that you do. But there's this really strong energy of blaming someone else that I'm picking up on. And with that Hierophant reverse, it definitely could be an authority figure in your life, like a parent or maybe even a spiritual teacher with the Hierophant coming out. So maybe even they could be aware of something like you being into love readings on YouTube and them blaming those or them knowing that you're into astrology and kind of being like, oh, those stupid astrology readings are why we're not together or something like that. Um, but I, I feel like it definitely could be another person for a lot of you guys. Um, but one thing that I can definitely pick on it, pick up on is that their idea of you has not changed. They still see you as very desirable, very physically desirable. And almost like they're saying it's not their fault. I'm not mad at them. 
I'm not mad at them at all. I still really value them. I still really respect and cherish them. And I still have the same place in my heart that I did. Um, I feel like they, they feel like you've almost been given wrong information. Like you were told something from someone else that wasn't true or, um, someone, got in your head or maybe someone came in and flirted with you it could be that like a third party that came in and you know hit on you and but they're not blaming you and they want you to know that they don't blame you for some reason that's coming through really strong and it's almost like they're acknowledging their own failures in some ways like i could have come on stronger so the only negative emotion that they have towards you is maybe a little bit of sadness and regret that they feel towards themselves more so so it's really sweet that they're not taking this and putting it on you or acting like you did something really bad i feel like they tend to be more mature about it so they're doing a little more self-reflection and they're kind of acknowledging like listen this was my fault or this was someone else's fault but it definitely wasn't pile three's fault definitely wasn't uh something they did and i feel like they just something about you guys i feel is very cute and endearing you guys might literally be into those like stuffed animals or something or like cartoons or something. I feel like you have a very young, youthful, innocent, pure energy that this person really loves. Like they're just very drawn to the way you see the world, which I feel like is very kind of innocent and naive. Maybe you have rose colored glasses or you see the world as just like a beautiful place. But I feel like in a way it's like they're coming through being like, I want to protect that part of them. And I feel bad I couldn't step up enough. I feel bad that I wasn't brave enough. I feel like they are acknowledging maybe a lack of bravery. Maybe it's because it's interesting. I feel like they have an innocent energy as well. What they're acknowledging in you as a really good is also something I would say they share to a certain extent. I'm not saying you guys are the exact same, but there's a kernel of that at least in them. Whether you guys are at different levels, I don't know. But they that's why they love that in you is because they have a very good heart themselves. They're not a vengeful type. I could definitely see Pisces vibes or Cancer vibes coming through with this. Maybe Libra Taurus as well. But anyway, I just feel like they are saying like, you know, I, I never want them to lose that part of them. I know they still have that part, but I do feel like if anything, they are, are kind of a little bit doing the reflection about like, I, I should have been a lot more brave. I should have said it. I should have said what I was feeling. It almost feels like both of you guys were kind of scared and timid and didn't want to say it, didn't want to put it out there. And it almost would have been better if there was one very chaotic, like non-innocent side of this relationship who could have just been really bold and just put their feelings out there and has probably asked a thousand people out. Um, it's almost like this person cared too much about you. Like they really don't want to look stupid in your eyes. They really don't want to make a mistake and hit on you and come off uh, too aggressive or too almost like they're afraid of scaring you, you know? So I feel like they definitely held themselves back. And because of that, um, I think now there's a little bit of regret with like all the things that I didn't say. And I just heard all the things she said by tattoo but I feel like that's just confirming um that yeah a lot of it has to do with like I should have said this or like and I do feel like this person replays your conversations in their mind I feel like they really you know they really value you and I know that that sounds obvious I guess in a love reading but a lot of people don't value their partners and you'd be surprised doing these readings you know how much you're like hmm, I don't know if this person cares they're just kind of selfish Whereas I feel like this person, they really do value you. They really see you as like this kind of incredible, amazing, like wonderful, magical being, kind of like a fairy or I'm seeing Alice in Wonderland. Like I feel like they just love the way you view the world. Maybe you guys view it in a very magical way. Maybe you're that kind of person that's always like, hey, I have an idea. Let's try this. But I feel like it's like they could really open up to you. They could really talk to you about their interests. They could really be kind of vulnerable with you. Like maybe they're into something kind of nerdy or cringe. Um, to some people would say that and like you're the one that they can talk to and you're the one that they can come to and be like hey I'm into this and you'll be like oh that's awesome cool I'm into it too or no judgment that's that's I never heard of that but that's cool um, I feel like you're very non-judgmental and I feel like they really really appreciate that because it's almost like that has been rare for them to come across in their life in a way I wouldn't be surprised if some of these people had tried dating since they've 
parted ways with you or whatever happened. Cause again, it doesn't feel like you guys had a bad break or anything, but it's like, no one compares to you. And I'm hearing that song by Sinead O'Connor, nothing compares to you. So maybe they, you know, tried to go out on dates, but I feel like you guys just have the same understanding. You share a lot of the same ideas and they do want a fresh new start with you. Um, they do want that new beginning, some communication. They might be thinking, I feel like if they were to reach out, they would do it in like a kind of funny, cringy way, almost like joking, like telling some corny joke to you, like a dad joke in your DMs or something like they would, and they would not hit on you in like a smooth, you know, Casanova type way. They would hit on you in a way that probably someone else would like roll their eyes on and be like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. But I feel like you guys love that about each other. You have that in common that you both, um, you're both okay with that. You're not looking for some guy who's like a smoothie and just has a million lines. I and and I think that's, you know, both you guys really care at the end of the day. It's not just another like random person you're picking up at the bar that you're used to doing every weekend. It feels like this relationship means something for both of you. Well, let me get some uh let me get some cards for the songs song energy for pile 3. Spirit, can you give us some songs that sum up the vibe for Pile 3? So we got Criminal, Britney Spears. Okay. Um, is that? Yeah. Moi Je Joue, Bridget Bardot. Honey and I, Haim. And I just heard that Sam Hunt song about like hips like honey. You to one, Rihanna. I will always love you, Whitney Houston. And Cruel Summer, Taylor Swift. And then finally also, there is a light that never goes out. So I feel like um, with all these songs, you know, there's like, again, like I've been saying, there's just this, a lot of sweetness between you guys and a playfulness like I don't know if you guys just have the same sense of humor or you share the same jokes um but Moi Je Joux always reminds me of like the south of France I think Bridget Bardo is from the south of France and I'm seeing like beaches and someone kind of playing in the water and that playfulness of like the south of France in the summer is what I'm thinking of like kind of this light sunlight if you've ever been like you know in the summer it's very airy and bright and beautiful and sunlight and you know the beautiful azure water and I feel like that's the vibe between you guys it doesn't feel like a heavy deep dark relationship it feels playful and fun and light-hearted and um and I feel like this person kind of wishes in a way that they could have stepped up and been more intense. Like if they have regrets towards it, it's like, I wish in a way I had like, they also might not, you know, I just got this message. They might not have made their intentions as clear with you about their like sexual interest in you because I almost feel like they're saying they see me as a friend or something like that. Um, like, and I'm hearing, and you say, I'm just a friend. So I feel like maybe they thought you friend zoned them or maybe they thought that you just didn't see them in any kind of sexual way or any kind of romantic way that it was just purely like friend vibe. And I almost feel like this person might have been afraid to breach that to like to make their intentions clear and to be like, no, I, I want I want that full relationship with you. I want it all. I want all of you. I don't want just like the friend zone. I don't want just like friendliness I mean of course that's cool and like you know friends are awesome and so uh, but I feel like they wanted more you know and I don't know if they fully cleared it up with you so they love the fact that you have this playful happy vibe but then I do feel like they're coming through like hmm I probably should have made myself a little bit more open about exactly what I want which I do feel like has to do with that ace of wands we'll talk about that a lot more in the extended like I said we can't talk too much about it but they are desiring you you know they do have this like but I feel like they're insecure, maybe even about their physical appearance or feeling like they don't have a sexual vibe, feeling like they don't give off a sexual vibe and that you wouldn't see them that way. I also feel like you guys aren't super sexual on the outside. Like maybe most people wouldn't perceive you that way. Maybe you're kind of private about that. And I feel like they really love that, but it's almost like both of you got, because, because they kind of put you up on a pedestal because of that. It's like, 
okay, how do I move this in that direction? Like maybe I would feel more comfortable being open about my intentions and being open that like, hey, I want to date. No, I don't want a friend. I want to date <laughs> um, to someone else that they don't care so much. But it's almost like because they cared so much about you, they got all tongue tied and they didn't know what to say and they got all in their head and nervous. Definitely feel like they got nervous around you and kind of stymied and blocked up about like how am I going to say this and I don't want to seem uncool and I don't want to seem cringe and I just remember the line from Cruel Summer where she says it's kind of like about how both sides are trying to play it cool and then she says something like um I love you isn't that the worst thing you ever heard and she's and then he looks up grinning like the devil so it's kind of like this situation where two of them are both playing it cool, both trying to be like, yeah, we're friends and maybe we hook up, but like, no, we're keeping it cash. But she's catching feelings and she's kind of nervous. And then finally she just bursts out and says like, I'm in love with you. And then he's smiling. So he's obviously happy about that. And he's kind of like, sweet, she's the one who brought it up. Um, so maybe it was like a situation like that where neither side wants to really give or say, exactly how they're feeling um but i do think this person thinks so fondly about you i swear they must think of you like every night because i just keep getting that like this very fond loving something about them worrying about your parents being overbearing though as well we got cards for pile um three spirit ace of pentacles king of cups um Oh my God, I was just about to say the King of Cups is definitely them. And then and then we got the Queen of Cups. That is so, that is so absurd. That is so funny because you guys are so the King and Queen of Cups, like this energy. Like I was saying, both of you guys are sweethearts. But it's almost like we need a King of Wands to come in here and, you know, break up this cup energy and turn it into a little bit more of that fiery sexy vibe that I feel like this person does really want you know instead it's just like chill and like emotions and like being all loving to each other but we kind of need that king of wands to come in or some one energy to come in and maybe that's why this person has this intention they might have told themselves something like well the next time I see them like I'm just gonna like grab them and kiss them or something which obviously you know would be a little problematic just to walk up to someone and just grab them but i'm just saying you know they might have had that promise of like okay the next time i see them i'm gonna ask them out or i'm gonna make myself clear i'm going to um you know make myself known that i am this romantic person and i'm not just a friend and i'm not just a option but i'm like the one you know as we got you to one they want to be the one for you and um so yeah i think like they they fantasize a lot it's funny we got we got the ace of pentacles swords and wands the only one missing is the ace of cups which is perfect because i feel like they fantasize a lot about a new start but like changing the energy of what it used to be like whereas before it was very cups it was very sweet and loving and open and you know warm and like let's talk and let's hold hands now they want it to be like fiery and they want it to be you guys are really talking and really being open and being very blunt with each other so it's like they want to change the vibe and i feel like they fantasize about how they're going to do that about the next time they see you what they're going to say and what you guys are going to say to each other and how you guys can finally kind of be open and get these things out on the table because i feel like they have a lot you guys both have the emotions but when it comes to actually kind of diving down deep and being honest with each other both of you guys are kind of blocked up in that regard it's almost like someone just needs to take the reins and just make it happen and just take control of this because i feel like there's so many nerves on either side that I wish one side was just going to be really, really bold and just take it over. And with that eight of wands, this person might already have a lot of ideas in mind. Like I feel like they get kind of excited when they think about dealing with you, when they think about running into you or being around you again, you might, it might be like, have you ever talked to someone? And as soon as you talk to them, not even just romantically, but romantically sometimes too, but like, you just talk to someone and you know they were saving up something to tell you like you're like oh hey how are you and they're like hey so um i was thinking the other day that um you and me we uh we make a lot we have a lot of fun always and you're like okay this does not sound like something that's coming off the cuff this sounds like something you might have rehearsed you know like and it's kind of always weird when you know someone's like that nervous uh to talk to you you know 
but I feel like it is really cute and I feel like this person might have that vibe next time you see them or like they might have like a bunch of lines they they rehearsed or like some little script you feel like they're reading from you're like are you talking to me or just doing like a monologue what's what is this but I think it's because they really really like you and they are like I said you make them nervous they see you as as very much first of all very physically attractive very beautiful very pretty and just sweet I also feel like there's something really beautiful about your hair and a gentle quality to the way you move like a lot of gracefulness to the way you move that they are bringing up and they are very attracted to this so yeah like I said we're going to talk about that over on Patreon. If you guys want to join, then you can head on over to the link underneath the timestamps in my comments or in the description. And we are going to go into way more detail, get some channeled messages, get some astrology for this and pull a lot more card decks. So we're going to go a lot deeper over on Patreon. If you want to join, head on over. And once you do sign up, you'll get access to over 30 additional readings from love readings to career, to spirituality, to relocation, all kinds of topics and new stuff goes up all the time. And we also vote on new list, new readings. Um, so if you guys want to join, like I said, head to the link for my Patreon and thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. So please let me know your thoughts and make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Give this reading a like if it did resonate with you and make sure to subscribe as well. Turn on those notifications so you can find out as soon as I post. I would absolutely love to have you guys here. And if you guys want a private reading with me, I'm currently doing those at my website, briarrosero.com. So if you'd like to get one, then you can go ahead and sign up. We have some different offerings over there for a half hour reading or a full hour reading so you can check out what we have to offer and sign up for a reading if you want one so thank you guys so much for watching i'm sending you lots of love and light you guys take care of yourselves and i'll see you very soon in another reading or imminently over on my patreon <laughs> so anyway take care guys see you then bye Hey Pile 4, welcome to your reading. If you guys chose this little candle tart, this is going to be your reading. On the top, there's some fruit decorating it, a strawberry slice, an orange slice, and two little raspberries, I think, but it's so adorable and it is a real candle, so you could light it and I just absolutely love that. Let's get into the cards because I am gonna live shuffle today. Spirit, what can you tell us about how Pile 4 is person views Pile 4? So we got emotional baggage, okay. I'm already feeling the vibe that this person might be a little bit shady or they might be a little bit upset. I don't wanna say shady, but I do feel like they might be someone who has some negative emotions about this relationship. They might be having a hard time accepting that it's over or that you moved on because I do feel like, you know, you have moved on. As I'm saying that, you have moved on. We got time to move on. And then there's a strong energy maybe of you guys kind of hiding yourself from them a little bit. We got hidden in plain sight. So yeah, there might be a feeling to them of you kind of like just not being wanting them to even see you you hiding yourself on social media you ghosting them you you know not posting anything online or something like that you trying to become nobody as far as they're concerned or maybe feeling like you rejected them and you just did it really coldly and you moved on but i do feel like they're kind of like oh well so they're gonna pretend like we didn't have a thing or oh so they're gonna hide from me like there's a little bit of not anger but you know what i mean like that feeling of rejection coming in feeling of this person doesn't want me and i know they don't want me and they're not even pretending they're not even hiding it they're being very obvious about the fact that they don't want me so let's get some other cards as well but yeah i feel like they feel like you've moved on and it almost feels like you're trying to ghost them or you're trying to like completely erase them from your life or from your existence or trying like to the point where like they might think that like if someone asked them asked you about them that you would be like who oh i never i never knew that person no no oh he said we dated oh no that's no 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 we never dated no no like i feel like i feel like they would think that see two of cups they do have this deep emotion and can and they feel like you had a connection but they also feel like you're trying to run away from it or that you don't want to acknowledge them you know 
yeah, a little shadiness. Like it's almost like they are like, how could this person do this to me? Because they know we have a connection and I feel like it irritates them. Maybe you never posted them on your social media or something, or maybe you guys never made it official to the point where you would, or you never told their, your friends about them or something, but it's almost like it irritates them because they're like, I know we have this connection. I know we have this two of cups energy. I know they feel it too. And yet they refuse to acknowledge me. And yet they blocked me on Instagram and yet they blocked me on every platform and they won't listen return my calls or texts or they won't acknowledge me in some way like I feel like they wanted that public acknowledgement and it does irritate them the idea of you moving on with someone else as well it irritates them to think about you dating someone else or you being with someone else or you moving on in any way like I feel like that is something that really bothers them and they might spend late nights thinking about it um yeah and I feel like they might even when they're like really upset you know they might think negative thoughts about like well they have issues or they have all this emotional baggage they might be blaming you for the relationship and trying to act like it's all your fault you know like well I was all in they're the ones who ran away they're the ones who have commitment issues they might be saying you have commitment issues pile for um, which you may or may not I don't know but I I feel like they you know they're a little they feel a little bit bitter they do feel like a little bit of a bitter ex or something someone who but you know whenever someone is that bitter usually they have really deep feelings you know because no one is that bitter unless they really cared so i do feel like this person cared a lot for you look the star that's how they see you as they see you as a star and i think it irritates them either you have a lot of people who watch your social media or they think you have a lot of people who are interested in you and want to date you and kind of put you up on a pedestal and i feel like that irritates them because they're like they don't know them like i know them and not in a bad way as in like they would lose interest but it's almost like wait this is my this is my person this is not your person um it's not that they think like why would anyone pay attention to them they understand they get why people would be drawn to you but they feel like excuse me this is mine it's kind of like if you have a beautiful house like and you know it's beautiful and you do all the gardening and stuff you still would probably put a fence around it. You probably wouldn't want some random person to like come around and be like, oh, I love this garden. Let me just walk through it. You know, I feel like they they are a little possessive of you in that sense. So it irritates them that like, again, they don't have this public mark on you that they may have wanted at one time. They may have really wanted to just make it be known to everyone. Like this is, I don't want to say my territory because that sounds really weird and kind of unhealthy, but yeah, they wanted people to know that you guys were together. And I think it irritates them that they see other people approaching you, hitting on you, being interested in you. Um, because they're like, no, 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 you guys aren't close like that. You don't understand this person the way I do. They're very attracted to you as well. Very attracted. I'm already feeling like, oh gosh, it's going to be one of those readings where this person keeps trying to turn it into like a patreon reading but we're not on patreon we're on youtube i'm gonna do it at patreon extended so maybe they can come through during that and calm down now uh because we're still on youtube okay pile force person so we got to keep it a little pg but they are very drawn to you they're very attracted to you they find you very sexy um and i feel like other people find you sexy as well i don't feel like it's just them i feel like they're saying like no they're like like if you could like it's like you know how sometimes someone like really wants to show you a photo of their boyfriend or their girlfriend you know and you'll be like oh no that's okay i don't really need to see the vacation photo and they're like no 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 i want you to see him he, i want you to see us together oh my gosh isn't he th doesn't he look good in those sunglasses doesn't he look good look this is him flexing shirtless yeah <laughs> yeah this is him on the beach yeah another shirtless pic you know and you're like okay I get you think your boyfriend is really hot and good for you god bless I'm happy for you but you know how you get the vibe that you're like okay this person's definitely you know showing off a little and I feel like that's what this person would do with you kind of like they think you're really just objectively very attractive objectively cute that anyone would like you or have a crush on you anyone would feel lucky to get to be with you anyone would um would want you and that's why they're irritated that they think you're hiding them or that you downplayed them I don't know who this is with it might have been with like a romantic rival but it's almost like they lied about me or they said I didn't exist you know like they're kind of outraged like oh my god they pretended that we never dated but we did date and yeah we were together for x amount of time and I can't believe this um so they're very much kind of 
irritated about something along this line. Uh, it bothers them the fact that they perceive it as no one will really know the extent of you guys and your connection. Everyone is just going to be like, yeah, oh, I think they had maybe a fling or like, no, they never really dated. Uh, they were friends. You know, it feels like it was never made public and this person would like it to be public. And if they could scream it from the rooftops, like rent a billboard, make an announcement on like the local nightly news, you know, like what, what do they say on the news? Like it's half past the hour. And in today's local news, Brendan and Tina were dating and they <laughs> dated for six months. She never told anyone, but Brendan has made it clear. Like <laughs> that's what they would do if they could. They would love to put out like a formal announcement, you know, like send it out to all the press in the country. Um, they just really like the idea of everyone knowing that you're kind of theirs. And I feel like they think that you have a million other options at your disposal, that you have lots of other guys or girls who are interested in you. And so I think they think that you've moved on quick, even if you're not posting about it, even if you're keeping everything very private. I feel like they think that's typical of you, that you just might be private in general. And also, I think they think that, you know, you're kind of shady in that way and not in a bad way. Um, not that you're like doing anything like evil, but it's like, you know, you're a little shady, not in a bad way, but you're keeping things down locked. You're not letting everyone know all your business. You know, it's always those people you got to watch out for. It's always the people that are like, no, I'm innocent. No, I never did anything that are like, the, that are like the ones who are doing something, you know? And again, I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't think you guys are doing bad stuff. I'm just saying, you'd probably be like in their mind you're that kind of girl that's like oh i i just never get attention or something no one ever pays attention to me and meanwhile you have like a hundred guys blowing up your phone you know or you'd be that guy that's like yeah you know me i'm, I'm just definitely not a player but then he's dating like a million girls you know um like i'm not saying you guys are like that i'm saying they feel that way about you that you have that like you have that kind of secretiveness, almost Scorpionicness. Because keep in mind, like I said, it's always the secretive ones. Because Scorpio literally rules sex and it's also secretiveness, right? So, I mean, it's literally the secretive people who are out there doing with with the most magnetism that everyone wants to be with, you know. So it's it's always the people that try to downplay it and try to keep it private that I feel like a lot of times have stuff going on. So they feel like you might, you know, you might not post this. You might just make your social media look like you're just living your life or you don't post at all but they feel like you're hiding some stuff and that you're in another relationship or there's someone else around that you've moved on that you don't really care about them and I feel like that really irritates them they wanted to know that they were like a special place in your heart let's get more cards for pile three six of pentacles queen of pentacles yep and that one says King Knight of Cups reversed. Mm. So yeah, with that, um, so, you know, Knight of Pentacles reversed can be kind of a player energy. Like I was saying, they might feel like you're a player or maybe they're a player, but I'm hearing that line. Um, what is it? I heard you're a player. Uh, well, I'm the coach or something like that. So I feel like if they are, if it's them who's the player in this, which I feel like it's kind of both of you guys, it's almost like maybe they first stepped up to you thinking like, oh, this will be an easy target. And then you were like the only one who could give them a run for their money and you might act innocent at first. That might be your vibe. And then, but secretly you are, you know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly how to play situations. You're not trying to show off to everyone of like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm this person who has so many dates. You might be hiding it. You know, you might be downplaying your sexuality a little bit or something like that, trying not to let everyone know. But this person can, I feel like, really saw through it. And it almost just made them more interested because, again, they keep trying to turn this reading into some kind of a NC-17 type reading. This is not the place, sir. Whoever this is, this is YouTube and we got to keep it PG. So um, I feel like they really are attracted to you. They are very turned on by you and they have a lot of fantasies about you. Um, but I feel like it kind of drives them crazy because they might think that you're doing those things they fantasize about with other people. 
you know and i also feel like they you have a bougie vibe to you that they don't know if they can step up to it they don't know because there's also something very kind of logical queen of pentacles grounded like direct about you where i feel like you will not suffer fools you will not be like oh that's okay oh it's fine it's it's okay don't worry you're not the queen of cups so you guys are the queen of pentacles and you're gonna be like mm, and you did what okay so that was wrong and immediately wrong um you know there's a harshness i feel like the queen of pentacles it's not that she's like harsh but she's not playing around with the bs she's not gonna be like pretending like oh oh okay yep yeah. so when you lied you were oh that's fine she's gonna be like you lied that's it it's not okay she's very grounded and kind of in her power you know what i mean and i feel like that's something you guys have is like they might have been able to pull the wool over other people's eyes or use certain lines or you know act a certain way and get what they want but with you i feel like you are always like not buying the bs you know you guys know your own worth you're very intelligent you're very in your own power and i feel like that was just very attracted to the, this person like they were attracted to it they found it very alluring that you weren't easy like you were a bit of a challenge you know you weren't easy to deal with you were someone who maybe put up a little bit of obstacles or was kind of mysterious or hard to get to know i'm getting kind of like scorpio capricorn vibes to be honest um i could also see aquarius yeah i feel like you guys just like you're not gonna be the person or even virgo like i feel like because you could be a little critical you know you could be someone who might be like what was that story but you said you got home by three okay but that doesn't make sense with the traffic like um so i feel like this person might have had lines that they used on others or just that you could kind of see through them in a very deep way and they like the challenge and they also feel like you are you know you can kind of hold your own in this like you might have had your own lines that you were using on them maybe they were like oh i'm gonna play this person and then you played them I don't know. Let's get some song cards and see what else we can get for Pile 4. Love at first sight, Kylie Minogue. Ooh, so maybe there was some love at first sight happening. I can't go for that, Hall and Oates. Mm -hmm. That's definitely, I feel like it might be your energy. It could be theirs. I almost feel like there's a little bit of a power struggle happening between you guys. Like both sides are like, no and i love that song i can't go for that because you know the whole song is just saying that over and over and it's and it's basically you know you might bring this bs to someone else but you're not going to bring it to me i am not taking that and i feel like both of you guys kind of have that energy where both of you guys are kind of like jockeying for position a little bit here both of you guys are kind of like okay who's gonna call the shots on this um both of you guys might be kind of like dominant personalities, you know, because I feel like you give each other a run for the, your money and it's kind of exciting. Like, I feel like they get excited by this. They get excited by the back and forth and by the uncertainty when it comes to you, by not really knowing how to figure you out. Whereas they might have a much easier time figuring someone else out or they're really good at dealing with people and they think that you know they can have every anyone wrapped around their finger but when it comes to you i feel like it's a very different story and they're always maybe it's making them step up their game and be like okay let me just try and that story is not going to work i use that on that x and that x and that person and they all believe it but it doesn't work on pile four bleed to love her lindsey buckingham and the line to that ooh, that's interesting because they're actually playing the song is once again she steals away pretending that she don't miss me and it's basically about a very elusive woman we all know it was about stevie nicks but anyway i'm not getting into that but you know um i feel like there's this elusiveness in you is something this person very much is mentioning as desirable and attractive to them they don't think of that as a bad thing they're not like oh they're so annoying they're like oof it's just such a challenge like it's exciting to them you know i feel like they might be very attractive themselves and they might be used to having people just kind of fall over and do whatever they want and you are definitely not doing that you guys are very much kind of doing what works for you looking out for yourself 
you're not trying to make the peace with them. You're not trying to just be like some sweet, nice girl that's like so loving or like a guy who's that way. You know, you're like, no, this is what I want. You're putting up a little bit of a boundary. And I feel like this person really just sees it as like a challenge, like a wall they want to scale or something. You know how like sometimes with a wall, like I guess most people see a wall and they're like, okay, let me just turn around. Okay, I can't go this way. But like someone who likes a challenge maybe is going to be like, sweet. So let me scale that wall. Let me get out my little, um, I don't know, like rope ladder or something, and throw it over and try to climb up there. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, it's like they enjoy kind of the uncertainty with you because I am hearing a lot of their lines with you didn't really work. I remember yay sayer and I want to be yours, Arctic monkeys. So I feel like underpinning this kind of and so hot you're hurting my feelings, Caroline Polachek. Did I mention they find you guys really hot and that they keep turning this reading into talking about that even though I keep asking them not to? They just love mentioning how attractive they are to you guys. I don't know what you look like. I don't know what you have going on, but it's definitely working for them. That's for sure. Um, but then we got, I want to be yours. And I remember, so it's almost like underneath this vibe they put up of like, yeah, they're just really hot. There's actually a lot of that deep emotion. They actually do care. And, you know, I feel like it's almost like they feel slightly vulnerable about around you, maybe because they did feel rejected by you at one point, but it's like, underneath this kind of bravado they're putting forth of like yeah they're hot and you know i'm just really want to you know be in the bedroom with them and i'm trying not to say too much but um they really do have deep emotions and i feel like it's something they even have a hard time admitting to themselves like they would probably tell themselves like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I just find them hot. And that's the only reason I can't stop thinking about them. It's the only reason I care so much. That's the only reason I've been like checking their social media obsessively over and over and updating it 10 times a day to see if they post their stories. It's just because I think they're hot. But actually, I feel like it is a lot deeper than that. And and uh, there was an energy between you guys. Like, I feel like you were elusive with them, but it kind of didn't matter because the energy you just flowed between you guys regardless. So even if you were like, yeah, I don't have time to talk, there was still this unspoken like little thread between you guys um, that you didn't have to talk. You didn't have to say that much to each other. You didn't have to like have some long five hour date where you like talk about each other's families. It's like there was already so much on like said between you guys unsaid on the spiritual plane, if that makes sense, which I don't think that sentence did, but um, there was a lot like that. That was just an emotional energetic tie that wasn't even something that needed to be verbalized. So it feels like there's still a lot of mystery around you guys. So maybe you didn't have these deep discussions. Like maybe you never found out the person's dog's name when they were in second grade, you know, or whatever. Some of those discussions you have when dating where you find out like, oh, okay, so that's your history and that blah, blah. Like maybe you never got to have those talks, but I feel like they still feel like they know you and this is why they're kind of possessive of you and they're like hey step off my girl like don't even look at her and it's like maybe it's your public Instagram page and you know they don't have any right to say that and they're, you were never their girl or whatever or you were never their guy but I feel like they just definitely feel possessive of you and feel like you know whatever you guys had is so much deeper than what these other people want from you like they feel that they still knew you on a deep level even if they didn't get to so wow this one is gonna be fun to take over to patreon i can tell because they're already like chomping at the bit ready to go ready to say a lot of stuff so i'm excited to see what else they have to say if you guys want to join us over on patreon for the rest of this reading then you can head to the link underneath the timestamps in the comments or in the description and join we are going to get channeled messages i'm sure those will be this person's just ready to go. I'll just say that. So this is going to be either fun or not fun for me, but <laughs> they're going to say a lot. I can tell. So if you want to join, head to that link. We're going to get channeled messages, astrology, and lots of other cards as well. And when you do sign up, you'll also get access to all my other readings. So over 30 additional readings um, about love, about career, about spirituality, relocation, all different kinds of topics over there. And new ones go up all the time. We also vote and get suggestions for new readings so it's a great little party over there come join it over on patreon like i said link in the description and underneath 
the timestamps in the comments. <laughs> and if you like this reading, guys, please make sure to give it a like, hit the thumbs up button, that really helps, and make sure that you also subscribe so you can find out as soon as I post the next readings. I would love to have you here and make sure to turn on notifications if you want to find out, like I said, as soon as I post and get that notified right away, then turn on notifications. Um, but yeah, oh, and if you guys want a private reading with me, you can also get that at my website, briarrosetarot.com to get a private one-on-one -on -one session with me for tarot, pulling cards for whatever you would like. There's some different options over there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. I will see you very soon in another reading over here, or if you're going to Patreon, I will see you in like five seconds. Um, so anyway, depending, but I will see you guys later and take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.